Hello, hello, how are you doing? I am sitting outside this lovely afternoon. I am enjoying my beautiful, beautiful garden. It is such a pleasure to be out here. Listen, listen. You hear the birds? Do you? The waterfall, the wind rustling through the trees. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. And you would never know it, but it is 32 degrees Celsius outside right now. But not here in the shade. Here in the shade, I'm very comfortable. The trees have cooled down the area. I feel the breeze. The, the trees cool off the breeze. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk to you about the importance of trees, the importance of vines, the importance of tall bushes. They're very important. When people talk about a garden, they're either talking about, well, they're talking about two types of gardens. You have a food production garden, which is a vegetable garden, or you have a flower garden. Uh, other gardens like botanical gardens are generally left up to research institutes or cities or, you know, these specialty places that you have to pay to go into. But I want to stress the importance of having trees, bushes, vines, perennials, things that grow tall and bush out. Okay, they grow tall, bush out, take up a little bit of space in your yard, but more than that, they create shade. Uh, you can you could uh, have a topiary bush or vine or tree, whatever. The important thing is the shade. When you shade with a natural ground cover, it really makes a difference. Let me show you. Go over to my weather station here. This is my barometer. This tells me if it's gonna rain or not. And this is my thermometer. Now, I want you to notice something. It's like full on sun here from morning until night, literally full on sun. And the thermometer I have here, um, so in the morning it's in the sun, the afternoon it's directly over, and then right now it's in the shady part of this area. However, this area is full, full sun. So let's see what the temperature says. The temperature says, let's see if we can see it on a video. Put it here to make it easier. What does it say? This is in Celsius, by the way. 30, one, two, it's about 32 Celsius. And I know what you guys are saying. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Um, you know what? It's warm, but here there's, there's not really that much humidity and in the afternoon I'm generally in the swimming pool anyway so it doesn't matter now let's go over here to the shade and see what the temperature is in the shade okay let's just go here to the shade oh it's already you can see a huge temperature difference we're here she just love this canopy I do I do I do let's see what it says here let me see if you can see. Do you see that? Do you see that red line? That red line is at 23. Is it 22 or 23? It's kind of hard for me to see through the camera. It's like 22 and a half. This is it. This is the hardest part of the day. 
Do you see the difference? This is 10 degrees cooler in here. Now, 22 and a half degrees is definitely, definitely livable. And it's great for the animals. It's great for the birds. It's great for everyone. That's a 10 degree difference. 10 degrees. Sure, the tree is on the eastern side of the house and this is the afternoon. But I'm, I'm sitting here on the southern side of the house. I'm in the shade. It's not hot. There's a cool breeze. You see the breeze? You see that? That's nice. That's nice. And when you hear the wind rustling through the leaves, not only does it sound like a bubbling brook or a stream somewhere, but those leaves have perspiration. They transpire the moisture from the trees. And that transpiration gets picked up on the breeze. And so when you are sitting near those, you're feeling a mist. It's oh so subtle, just so, so subtle. But it's enough to actually cool you down. It's enough to actually cool down the air temperature. And therefore, I really encourage people, especially if you have a small space, plant trees, plant vines, if you have to have, oh, somebody's having fun on their bicycle. Um, if, if, you, if you need to cool down an area, use the natural greenery to do so. Let's say you have a deck and you want to plant vegetables and it's on the southern side of your house and you say, oh, I need the sun, I need the sun. Great. You need the sun, but at the same time, you also want shade. Let's say that you want to, you have to keep it sunny so that you can grow the vegetables, but at the same time, you want to enjoy the space as a sitting area. Great. Put the vegetables on the outside and then create a shade through natural vines. It's so easy to do. If you are going to make a privacy fence, do so with natural greenery. Trust me, especially if that, if that uh, uh, fence is on the western side of your house, you are really going to appreciate it in the afternoon. Your whole garden will appreciate it. Anyway, one second before I go, because I am looking up at one of the most magnificent views. Hold on one second. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see that? Look at those peaches! Ah! Oh, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. Nope, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Oh, I love my garden. I really do. It's one of the most magical places for me. Anyway. Just wanted to explain that about shade. I just wanted to show you the difference that shade trees make. They make a huge difference and they're useful. They can provide you with food. They could provide insects with food, the wanted insects, the pollinating insects. They can, invite, they can provide birds with food and they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And as the wind rushes through their leaves, ah, oh, it's such a nice refreshing sound. Anyway, until next time.